<laughs> Hello everyone, Kree here, bringing you back to the Kimmel top lane, and today we are against a Fiora, yes that is right. Before I do go into runes, I'm currently going to this mad chick. What I do want to say, of course, is the sponsor for today's video. And the sponsor for today's video is, in fact, a reoccurring sponsor, which has always been with us throughout many, many videos. The like button. Yes, that is right. You guys hit the like button. It'll make me the happiest camper in the world. Let's see. I want to go for an auto trade here. She actually doesn't want to give it to me. There you go. Nice. Win that trade just like that. Get a nice little grass frock, you know. Shield bash auto, all that good stuff. But yeah, if you guys hit the like button, it'll mean a lot to me. Helps out small content creators like me hopefully get into the algorithm and, you know, become big successful content creators from there. Anyways, the runes are currently going are Grassy Undying, Shield Bash, Bone Plating Overgrowth, that we have Magical Floor, plus Biscuit Delivery. So, Fiora is a, definitely a hard matchup, but it is definitely winnable. It is a counter matchup. Skill matchup generally, but it counters you regardless, just because, well, she can parry literally any single one of your abilities. Let's drop that word there. But yeah, she can parry any single one of your abilities just because they're all telegraphed. Your Q2, your W, your E, and even your ultimate. But generally, she should never parry your W because that is your most useless ability. So if she does parry it, well, you can just go for a good short trade, right? Which is it, which is what I am going to go for right there. She's going to wait for my shield to fall off or pick the vital proc. Very good job on her. Q here. Was looking for the W, but she actually sat 10,000 feet away, which is actually very interesting. But yeah, good stuff all, good stuff all around, right? So, generally, the way you want to play this matchup is you want to be able to play around vital procs and resets. By the way, that minion block was disgusting. I had to walk all the way around, and I didn't notice that vital, so my bad. So, generally, whenever you do W Fiora, you actually want to ping in my A. You smite those. You smite those. He doesn't smite those, actually. Um, this is very interesting. <laughs> All right, nice. I'm the one who's actually um over here. Nice, and she doesn't die over here, right? Ah, oh, she does. She does die. Um, I gotta pop biscuit for mana here. Actually, she's gonna walk this way. She hits it this way. Oh, you're so bad. Oh, Poppy, you're so bad. Alright, whatever. I got the kill regardless. Whoo! If I did an early Q there, I'm pretty sure I actually would have lost the kill. But whatever, that was just, forgot about her flash, dang, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, but let's see, difference here, she has a little bit more gold than me, I'm pretty sure. I think Akali did get first blood, though, which is really nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she got first blood, because I got kill Oriana and her, but I'm pretty sure first blood already happened, so yeah. Akali gets first blood, which is really good. Uh, unfortunately, my bottling does get doubled, which is honestly the worst thing that could have happened, considering we just wiped all three, right? But, it is what it is. Let's shove this out here. And hopefully, this is my last game for the day. Obviously, you guys don't know. But until I'm telling you right now. But I played five, four games. I've won three out of one, I believe. And I'm hoping not to make this my last game. And hopefully, end on the win, you know. Q2. She actually didn't even parry that in time. That's so huge. Because of that, I can actually just harass her so intently. But I do have 1,500 gold I actually do want to spend. So let's just recall here. Thing is, though... Do I TP to make use of my double buffs? I'll probably TP down here, if anything. So let's see. Nice ward for me. Not bad. Back here. Sheen plus longsword. Let's pay attention. Fight is breaking out. TP here, please. Nice shot that I'm the Yasuo going through. And it looks like my TP was off or not. <laughs> nice. We got her flash. That's actually so huge. Hit the slow there. Interesting. Oh, she's dead. Nice. W slow. Nice. That should be another kill. Hit the Q. Oh, we zoom. Nice. Good job. Very good job right there. Come on. Keep greeting from my pantheon, baby. It's not going to end well for you. So now we're going to recall here. And they good. They should be careful because he also can easily do that. Very, very, very easily. And no one should die here. Nice. E back towards top side. Mountain Drake is ours. And you know what? Our TP could have been useless, but it actually ended up not being useless. Thank God. We literally got Soraka's flash. We picked up a kill. And we obviously also killed Hecarim. So really good stuff. We're currently 302. 23 CS in 6 minutes is pretty bad, obviously. But so far, we are playing the Fiesta game. Now, I did lose a lot out of that in terms of top lane. 
she is obviously ahead of me in gold now and in XP, just because she picked up two platings and she, you know, obviously is level six and I'm level five, but that's actually perfectly fine. Um, the reason why it's fine is because, well, I'm not really afraid of Fiora at this point. The way as she has been playing makes me think that she's not confident in herself. You know, that could change the moment now that she's actually level six, but I should be fine to actually play the way I want to, which is generally not have to deal with Fiora for the, for the most part of the game. Q2 here, shove that out, very close to 6, good job Akali, so looking in the Oriana, that's what we love to see, and right now I'm actually going to go for this Scuttle Crab, because this Scuttle, which is not up sadly, would have given me level 6, but it's fine, so let's actually do this instead, and look for Hecarim, so let's see, Hecarim is currently not here, so he's doing this right now, she just warded that, ping it, and I'm pretty sure Hecarim is bot side, pretty sure he's bot side, he has to be a little bit careful. Anyways, let's reset that Vital Proc. So if you don't know how to reset a Vital Proc, basically you literally just walk off screen against Fiora, and that resets a Vital. That's simply all you have to do. So when she gets a good Vital again, which you will see shortly, or she's going to reset. So right now, it's right there. She's going to walk off screen, or the Vital will disappear. And when she walks back up, it's going to be one of these two. And now we're going to rinse repeat. We're going to walk off screen again. And then we're going to walk back up, and it's going to be a backside Vital instead. So doing something like that actually does help you protect vitals, which is very important. And we just got our fairy. That's so huge, because my poppy's literally coming to gank here. Nice. Like I said, it's huge because my poppy's coming to gank here. So that's actually something you do want to be doing, by the way. You do want to be baiting Fiora's parry generally before your jungler does gank. So that way, you can actually, your jungler, who if they do have CC, can actually use it very easily into your any opponent, your Fiora. And besides, your E is actually a shorter CD than her parry. Her parry, I believe, is 20 to 24 seconds level 1. And your E, well, interesting. Uh, how comes right here? We just don't fight. Oh, you're so interesting going for this. <laughs> okay, that's so interesting. I could have pressed my Arky, but but Poppy's like chasing the Hecarim away instead of going for this one. That's actually so interesting. I should kill here, actually. I have E Flash. I just used my Iki. Just baiting her. Just baiting her. If she thinks I can push the wave, I can't. Alright, nice. Bye bye! Good stuff. And just like that, we're gonna go execute here. I don't think she actually hit me recently, did she? Not entirely sure. I'm gonna back. Because I'm afraid of actually just giving her a, a, a 400 gold shot for no reason. Alright. Ah, she flashed for it, dude. That's so sad. Didn't want to give the shut down sad. Because if I did hit the minion here, or if a minion actually autoed me, that actually kept me in combat. And I actually wasn't entirely sure if I actually got hit or not. But we actually got her flash, which is actually pretty good for us, if I do say so myself. So she is trying to make a play down there. It looks like Yasuo... Wait, Yasuo with heal? I just noticed that. That's so interesting. Most actually Yasuo's don't take heal in Botland. They always take exhaust or ignites. And they are trying to greed for this very hard, which honestly was not needed at all. The moment they were practically out of turret, they just shouldn't have forced that. You should just be able to walk away. She still has all right. Yeah. Bot's play was too forced. Yeah, simply just too forced. I guess Akali probably just wanted to make something happen because, well, obviously, her laner got to shut down. Which I do understand that, but forcing something just does, it's not how it works. Simply does not work. Anyways, reset that. Always want to reset vitals, like I said. And I know what you're thinking, Kree. You had so much gold. Why didn't you spend it? Well, because I actually want to go for a Triforce. That simple. I actually want to build Triforce as soon as possible instead of picking up Tabby. Which isn't really worth it for me. Q that. That's actually a very bad trade by me. Wait, I didn't Q at all. I thought I did. I guess I was still on CD. Oops. Q2 her. Nice trade. Tag her with W. Not bad. Her Conqueror's still up. We want to wait for that to fall off. Nice. My E is back up now. So, you know. That's how you generally want to trade to Fiora. When you do have your items up, though. When you do finally have your items, it becomes a lot easier to actually trade with this chick. But till then, you know, can be scary. Alright, we're just gonna recall here. We have Triforce, which is what we wanted. I could actually stick around until I have my TP up, which I think I will do. It is the best bet, honestly. Otherwise, she will take my turret on my recall. So let's just stick around till we have Triforce. And then once we have Triforce, it should be a Kree kill. If they try diving with Hecarim, well, I have Ult, Flash, and my Iki, so we should be fine. Nice, we got the Ocean Drake. 
There's her parry key. I, I'm assuming she just tried parry me so she could slow me and hopefully go for a all in afterwards. But not gonna happen, love. Simply not gonna happen. So I'm see hoping I can bait her here. Never mind. She just doesn't go for Q poke on her turret. That's so interesting. All right. Anyways, this is recall here. TP back with training force and just run the lane. So generally, some Fioras, what they do is when they have a vital in their favor, literally just in their face, they try to Q for it under turret. And what I like to do is I like eating them as they actually go for that. And not many of them actually expect it. So I'm generally surprised that she didn't do it. Bye bye! Too easy, baby. Just way too easy. But yeah, just press my R key. That way I can dodge the parry afterwards. So, because if you get hit by the parry, you get an auto attack slow. And as I'm trying to auto attack her with, like, I don't know, 0. 0.50 attacks, but she can actually proc her vital in that instance twice if she does auto Q correctly. And probably could have went one for one there. So, just simply time your ultimate accordingly when her parry is going to fall off. That way her, her parry does not cancel your ultimate entirely. That's simply what I did there. And she shouldn't have TP. She did just respawn here, but I do have Triforce, so I should get a ton of plating before she comes back top lane here. Which is what I'm hoping for anyways. Too. That's two terror shots for free, sadly. I am going to drop this ward, actually, because if Orianna or Hecarim's coming, it sucks. Let me see Orianna mid lane. That's one plating. We'll take two here. And I'm going to pick Sheik just take this. Alright, that's three plating, just like that. We're going to E away. And she just she should just use the Herald here. There you go. <laughs> I like how she, she's trying to hit my Vital, I guess. I don't know why she'd run like that. Hopefully they win that play bot lane. Walk up. Take that gold nicely. Fiora's very interestingly enough there. Um, <laughs> you're taking her away from me. <laughs> I mean, she's not going for the. She's not trying to one v one you out of the way. It's all you. I was gonna take it from her, but I realized. Wait, that's my jungler. You managed to hold your stun. Just don't just go bot anymore. Simple. <laughs> just don't go bot anymore. It really is that simple. Alright, uh, anyways, I actually have to move over here because they can actually take turret off this. Alright, it's Rico here. And uh, that's literally all she has to do. She has to stop playing off bot lane. Obviously, bot lane's not able to do anything. I think these guys are a duo, and they're not that good of a duo if I do say so myself. So just simply stop going down there. Because obviously, every time she has went down there, they literally died twice in a row. In trying to make a play, and it's just not working. Also, uh, also rush executioners <laughs> into Soraka. Something he definitely easily should have done, but he didn't, sadly. Is she winning? <laughs> yeah, she just walks away. <laughs> well, actually, she can win this. Oh, she might be dead here. Stunned him, pressed my R key, a little bit more damage. Bye-bye, buddy, that's a shutdown. And nice, that works out. And she's literally oom, so if she does take around, I can kill her. I don't think she really will. Pretty sure she's gonna back off here. They should have vision of me somewhere, right? Yep, she's not here. Yep, that ward just died. So let's shove this out now. And then look to go minion afterwards. Who's TPing down there? Seems to be Oriana. Let's ping that. And nice. Really good E flash by me. I'm not sure if she actually would have lived or not. I'm not entirely sure without the E flash. But regardless, I went for it. So that's all that matters, really, right? Q2, shove this out here. Don't miss that. Q2 that, and now I just want to move towards mid lane, and we do want to move towards getting this turret soon. Or even getting this one as well. There she is. Honestly, I might have to come back topside if she can use pushing topside out, sadly enough. Because I don't want to deal with her at this point. What the hell? It's kind of interesting, dude. <laughs> Wait, you were by yourself, brother? No way. That's the most interesting thing ever. Why would you? So why would he face check me if there's not a single camp up? <laughs> it actually doesn't make any sense to me. It... It truly doesn't. Not a single camp is up, and he actually walked up like that. That's so interesting to me, dude. And I guess they want me to give up turret, which kind of sucks. Hmm. I think we give, honestly. Give Kai half HP. Actually, Fiora's moving now, so I can actually move myself. Never mind. Fiora moving. I can too. Oh, she's right here, actually. Alright, well, it doesn't matter, because I'm coming over here. Yeah, they should be free here. Oh, Hecarim is flanking from behind, sadly. There's Fiora TP coming in. Oh, I missed. 
Uh, Yasuo just healed. Hecum should die. Nice. Keep playing it slow. Amazing Oyana ultimate there. Not gonna lie. And that's all she wrote, dude. Leading the executioners. Mm, is there a plant up? Yasuo did heal like extremely early. Really good job picking up the kill on there. And I don't want to do this. 1500 gold I do want to spend. And we can... Well, I have to stick around for this. And if they fight us, then we can win. It's just, we can lose it very easily if I fucked up. <laughs> or if any of us fucked up, really. But they're not going to come for the fight. I guess because they don't have ultimates. That works out, though. Healing cuts. I will buy one right now. I actually desperately need a healing cut, though. Sadly. Sell this so I can pick this up. Because they healed for way, like, absolutely way too much for no reason. So we have to pick up executioners. I generally do rust executioners. Jesus Christ, Executioners into Fiora as my first item, but because I was getting up so many kills, I thought I might as well just pick up Triforce early instead, because Triforce, honestly, is the real way you can when we want Fiora. Executioners just make it so if you do get a jungle gank, you can't out-sustain. But, Executioners plus Sheen, honestly, is good anyways to when we want Fiora anyways, so, you know, something that you can look towards. Hello there, beautiful. How's it going? Yes, you will walk away, and I will just simply shove this out, then look to make it play on your Yasuo. Anyway, start moving here. I should be a thousand gold off. Yup. 800 gold actually now, which is really... 900, sorry. 900 off, which is fine. We're gonna drop this ward over here. I do sort of have a flank play. Not really, because they have vision of me. I take the control ward now. Be over. I will take that myself, because you're a tank who doesn't need goats. You actually went Black Cleaver. I actually like that. It's just funny, and it's fun. Yes. <laughs> I actually do like that. Not bad. That made, that literally gave me a smile. Good good looks, Poppy. Good looks. Q2 that. We do have Empire Acceptor, so we can lifesteal through this. And it looks like she might be around here. Ah, nope. Alright, she's not out of here. I guess she's already back. The insta-backed, actually. Hopefully no one dies down there. She's clearing vision. Oh, I didn't get a Sheen proc. Nah, that's fine. Pick that up. Everyone's probably bot side right now. Now we am gonna just look towards this, right? Yeah, everyone's bot lane. I can TP here. <laughs> Man, what you thought this was, dude? That's not how it works. You're not gonna kill her when I TP in. The moment you see my TP, back off, brother. <laughs> I mean, Yasuo could have went in as well, just because the wave was with him there. Oh, you hit that. You too. Chunk to half HP, so that actually allows me to dive him later on. If he sticks around. I can bot again, if you really want to. She definitely should have went topside, though. Just because that's where the other one was. He should have went top, because I was already bot. But it's fine. By DD, then this, and now let's just keep moving topside, I guess. Let's see, 600 mana, that's perfectly fine, because we do have a biscuit. It is what it is, though. I understand that she wants to, because you lose 4v4 with me. That's why you don't go for the fight. <laughs> the whole purpose, so she thinks that we're gonna we're looking for a fight, but no, that's not really. The case is, is that I wanted to be topside so she can clear this wave, and I can pick up bot turret, then I reset, then we move back down. That's literally all I wanted to do. And she's dying again, sadly. <laughs> Her ult is already back up, which is nice. But she's dying again, sadly. Unless she gets up. Good job. But yeah, the whole purpose is not her being top to the fight. It's just her being top to the clear the wave against Fiora. And then we reset. She goes back bot lane, you know? Just a simple little rotation macro. Or micro. Whichever you want to call it. I don't know what rotations go under. Probably macro, right? I would assume macro. Anyways, drop this ward. Is my control ward down anywhere? Nope. You are, uh... Yeah, pop her bone plating there. Oh, wow. She's not even thinking about trading cues with me. Interesting. Q2. That did so little damage, dude. Wow. Uh, just walk away, buddy. We don't know where their team is. Which is literally the issue. This is coming up soon. And also because Drake is the next objective we would fight for, so she would also, you know, TP from top to bot instead, you know? Which makes a lot more sense. 
But I'm happy I didn't place my control word at all because we're obviously going to place it over here. And it should be so. And the enemy team is definitely going to fight for this. I just shove this out. I'm not going to use my W's to shove it all. Actually, I will now. Because now I actually see where the team is. Anyways, Fiora just TP'd. Their entire team is right here. They're all running this way, which is very interesting. I actually don't know why. But that's where they're pathing. I guess we're giving this because their team is not positioned. We just don't force the fight yet. That's all we have to do. We also want to wait for Panthon to get in range. There we go. Oriana OTs. Going off your right here. Now we just finished this. Let's just finish this, guys. Oh, wait. Akali's still in there. I didn't even notice. My bad, guys. On my way. <laughs> we zoned Yasuo. And now Oriana's dead too. <laughs> That's my bad. I even noticed. I actually did not notice Akali was doing there. My bad. Completely thought Akali was already out of the fight, honestly. That works out though. Me just eating over here zones Yasuo off because he doesn't want to die as well. Like, there's no reason for him to go for a trade code to Pantheon. It's not really going to do much for him. So, good stuff. And just like that, we maintain soul. And a really good fight. So, if you're wondering why I didn't engage there, well, it's just genuinely. Well, yeah, I am fed. I do have Death Dance, you know, so I have Anti Burst, all that good stuff. But if they literally use everything on me, I die. That's one. Two, we have a Panther who can use his E key to actually block all damage. So it's just better that he takes instead, or he engages with his ultimate. This is what I was waiting for. I couldn't get a good E off, sadly, because they all immediately were kiting away. Which really does suck, but it is what it is. I don't have TP, but she's actually 1v1ing him. Close enough, anyways. Come here. You want to parry my ult, <laughs> but she didn't parry my ult, so instead she gets locked in the cage. The baby cage. Alright, nice. Shove this out, though. Q2, I'll take that. Not doing enough Q2 damage, I feel like. Is it because I'm not... I just hit 14, so now I should be doing 500 true damage, I'm pretty sure. Obviously not the turrets, but I should be doing 500 now. When he E's forward, that tells me, yeah, his team's around. W slow. 3, 2... One. Alright, I'm flashing over, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well that sucks, but it is what it is. I didn't want to flash. I was literally waiting for my E key, because it was up in two seconds. But instead, we have to flash this. I know I don't die no matter what. There. So that works out. Because Oriana didn't use ult. If she used ult, I definitely would have died. But she didn't, so that was perfect for us. And next item, of course, on the list is going to beat our Ravenous Hydra. Because there's literally no reason for me not to pick it up. Uh, TPing in. Fight's obviously breaking out. Yeah, my defensive TP just, I guess, keeps him alive. Question mark. Whatever. Shove this out now. Q2 here. We can actually just go for 20-minute Baron. I can solo. Or duo. Your choice. I can solo or duo. We can four-man it. We wanted to keep shoving out there. We wanted to try to bait. I actually want to be the one who tanks. Ah, she's standing in my spot. Very sad. It is what it is, though. Anyway, 600 true damage. Finally. Baron has been accomplished. Good stuff. Don't know where Yasuo is. And honestly, this game is clean, cut, and dry. Like, they, did, they said three people towards me and they couldn't kill me. What can they do at this point, right? Actually, what can they do at this point? Their only chance of winning is actually just stealing Elder Drake. But... There's no way we actually let them steal it. We just win the 5v5 really hard. Only way they can win is if they steal Elder. But we just force 5v5 with Panther. That's really the only way they can actually win. Eh, <laughs> she wanted cannon. No, 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 no. That cannon's mine. Let's see. Very close to this. There's Hecarim. Ah, I couldn't get the cannon, sadly. That's fine, though. And right now, what do we want to do? Akali does have CP. Would prefer if she's topside, but she just never wants to be. She's literally just permanent bot all game, sadly. Because then she'd be able to TP towards Drake, and she should be able to 1v1 anyone. Pretty sure, including Fiora. Even though Fiora's Q does go through uh, Shroud. We should be good. Let's just shove this out here. 
Auto here. Let's keep moving. I have Ravenous Hydra on my back. No reason for me to actually recall, though. My team is currently pressuring, so I want to pressure with them. And it looks like fight might be breaking out here. So I actually want to start moving now. Not a fight, sorry. A pick. Good job, guys. And now I'm going to keep pressuring this over here. They're going to pressure this, and they're going to pressure mid. Baron buff minions. So what you want to do when someone's trying to defend against you is you simply just Q them. And by Q them, I mean Q too. Really, no reason for you not to. Nice, there's three of you here. For what? You're losing mid. <laughs> uh, what's happening over here? Soraka! Nice! Alright, sad times. I should have positioned myself better that way he couldn't dash over. But it's whatever. We just win the game off that now. Oh, and there goes Kaisa as well. <laughs> Life's still up here. Wait, the game's not over. Guys, we're not taking any turrets? No, we're getting bots here. I think Hecarim also gave up as well. Oh, not much you can really do, buddy. Not when, the, not when the game is turning this badly for you. Really? Death stance on top of that. Just on the game, dude. What? Hey, <laughs> they're, they're going for the perfectionist run, dude. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, well, if I guess I'll just be the one to end the game on my own. Very confusing. Or they just want to bring all the minions over. Because, you know, that is pretty wholesome if we just bring the whole gang over, huh? Alright, let me go bring... You guys, you guys are feeling left out, right? Come over here, buddy. Come over here, guys. There you go. Let the win means deal with the game. Psych plus 50. Anyways, did you play? Like button, comment, and subscribe to see you guys next video. Peace!